Hello, everybody, and welcome to Learn Chinese Now. This is the first in a sort of new segment that I'm going to be testing out. It's kind of a vlog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. So today, we're just going to go right back to basics, and we're going to have a look at the tones of Mandarin Chinese. Uh, have a little bit of a practice and a brush up for anyone who wants to brush up on the basics. So here's a graph of the tones. Mandarin Chinese has four main tones. And there's also a kind of fifth tone, which is just a toneless kind of tone. So it's not really a tone, but whatever. So there's four tones. Uh, the first one, let's just use the word ma ma to uh, go through the tones, all right? So the first one, it's a high singing tone. Ma, 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 like that, all right? Very easy. I think everyone can do that one. Now, the second tone, uh, it's a, a tone that goes upward. And many people, they sort of perhaps overemphasize it a little bit. Uh, an easy way to think of this tone is just like when you ask a question in English and you just say to someone, what? Where? When? Really? Like, it's just, it's, a, it's called a terminal rise. It's just going up at the end of a word. So, really? What? Like that. So, let's use the word ma. So, ma, ma. It's not like ma. It's not like that, right? It's just a little sort of ma, ma. A lot of people at the beginning, they sort of like, they're not subtle enough with their tones and they, they, they emphasize it a little bit more. But um, this one, you can think of it really just like a question in English. So, ma, ma. Okay. The third tone is the down and then up, falling then rising, ma. And some people, okay, they do this tone and it sounds too much like the second tone. So they, they go down and they go up way too much. And if you look at the graph, this tone actually doesn't go up anywhere near as much as the second tone, okay? The second tone goes all the way up and it meets the first tone. The third tone just goes sort of back up uh, maybe around halfway. So it's ma, okay? It's not ma. No, it's not like that. It's just ma. And in like certain places, like in Taiwan, the, uh, the third tone, even some people, their pronunciation, it's like, it's just sort of more of a chilled out falling tone, like ma. They, they hardly go back up. They hardly go ma. Hardly do it. So it's quite subtle. So I would pronounce it in this sort of standard way, just ma. Just down and then up a little bit, not too much. Otherwise, it's going to sound too much like your second tone. And there's another, another thing about the, the third tone is uh, when you're practicing it to, to get it kind of into your head, uh, you can use this method where you sort of lower your chin down and then bring it back up, ma, to sort of emphasize. And it kind of helps you get into the feel, the pitch. You're like internalizing it. Obviously, don't do that when you're talking to people because you're going to be like, eh, 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 oh, ni hao. You know, people are going to think you're weird. It's kind of mental illness or something. All right, the last tone, very easy. Ma, OK, it's just. A short, sharp, it's called a falling tone, but ma, I don't know. You don't need to emphasize it like, like you're actually falling. It's just short and sharp. Ma, ma. OK, uh, we'll just demonstrate these four tones with another character. So, ba, 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 ba. OK, and shi, 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 shi. All right, so there's just a little bit of a refresher on the tones. So <clears throat> now let's talk about a couple of the basic tone changes, um, which you know this confuses some people because the tones do change. And it's very difficult at first, but after you get used to it, it's very logical. And you get the feeling, oh, it's actually easier to do it that way. You know, The tone changes are like that for a reason, because it's actually easier. So when it's very hard to say um, a lot of third tones in a row, OK? so. Just take the most basic word in Chinese, ni hao, for example. So ni on its own, that's a third tone. And hao is a third tone, right? It's you, good. So these are both third tones on their own. But if you say ni hao, it's kind of like it feels a bit awkward. You know, you don't really need it. So it, and, it, and it's hard to say fast, ni hao, all right? Because right? you got to kind of go up and down. And it's like, like a roller coaster. So when two third tones are in a row, the first one changes to a second tone. So we just have. Ni hao, ni hao. If there's more than one third tone, um, let's say ni hen hao. Okay, three third tones in a row. The the first two, all right, are going to change to second tones, and only the last one will stay as a third tone. So it'll be ni hen hao. All right. So that's basically how it changes when you've got th more than one third tone in a row. Uh, if it's just two, the first one changes to the second tone. And if it's more than one, only the last one will stay as the, the, the third tone, and all the others will change to the second tone. Now, there's another tone change. When you have a, 
a third tone immediately preceding a second tone. Your third tone doesn't come all the way back up. So let's take the word guoran, means uh, something like as expected. Um, so the guo is a third tone, and the ran is a second tone. All right, so it's not going to be guoran. Okay, it's going to be the, the third tone is going to lose its tail. It's going to lose the bit where it comes up, and it's just going to go down. So guoran, all right. Um, I'll try and think of a few more examples for you. Wang min, uh, netizens or internet users. Wang min. So the wang, it's wang if you pronounce it as a third tone on its own. But in this way, it's wang min. Okay, wang min. So guys, there are a few other minor tone changes in Chinese, but I'm going to cover those in another video. Uh, it's a little bit much to take in in, in just one video. And don't forget, if you feel a little confused, you can always rewind, watch it again, and check out some of the examples, practice yourself. So guys, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and we'll see you in 2016 with more Learn Chinese Now. Bye. So this new segment, I'm really excited about it. We're going to be doing uh, like vlog kind of stuff. So I'm thinking of a, a way of teaching you guys more vocabulary, like for just daily living. So I'm kind of going to be experimenting with this new format of just walking around with a camera and pointing at things and saying the names of them and having the names and the graphics come up on screen, you know? So like daily life, for example, like I'm going to get up, go into the bathroom, I'm going to point out everything that you need to know, you know, toothbrush, mirror, shampoo, bathtub, toilet, you know, everything, all right? So uh, this is a thing that I'm going to be trying out and let me know in the comments, would you like uh, that kind of video? Really focusing on all the like essential daily vocabulary that you need. Uh, demonstrated by me in the real environment of New York City where I am uh, walking around with my camera. Alright guys, thanks for watching.